I'm Amy Culp, Assistant Athletics Director and Sports Dietitian at the University of Texas, and we're at the University of Texas Longhorns Dining Hall. I'm going to take you through how to put together a balanced performance plate so you know how to fuel your body to perform at its best. So first of all, I want to point you to the, the three-step process that we have for putting together performance plate, and I'm actually going to walk you through all of that. And we actually have uh, labels here on our food. We use a red, yellow, green system. Green means basically go. It's a food with a lot of nutritional value. It's going to help to fuel your performance. It's going to have a lot of vitamins and minerals, maybe some phytochemicals and antioxidants that are going to really help to fuel your body, help you to recover, um, help you to feel at your best. So you really want to fill your plate with those. Yellow foods might be foods that are, are really great for your performance perhaps, they have a performance enhancing benefit, but maybe a little bit higher in calories, so you just maybe need to wash your portion size a little bit more. And our red labeled foods are really foods that are just fun to eat. Um, they are, those are the ones that I call fun foods. They don't necessarily have a performance enhancing benefit, but we have to have some of them because they taste good um, and they add some flavor to our food and we need to have them every now and then. So first we have our pizza station here, so we want to first and foremost, you know, moderate your portion size of those. That uh, It does have a lot of great food groups in it, and it has some carbohydrates. We have some here with some vegetables on it. The cheese provides you with a little bit of protein, but you got to watch your portion size of that, so that's why that's labeled with a yellow. For putting together a performance plate, we talked earlier for an endurance athlete, I'm going to put together a plate for an endurance athlete to make sure that you get enough carbohydrates and the right mix of different nutrients that you need in your body. Okay. I'm going to start with some vegetables today, so I'm going to get some cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yeah. And I'd like some greens too, please. Yeah. And then I think I would like to get some nice barley here. This is a whole grain with lots of veggies in it. And some fish, please. Can I get one more piece of fish? One more piece? Yeah. I'm going to try to make sure you get at least three to four ounces of protein there. And then I need a little bit more carbohydrate because I have a good amount of my plate here with the vegetables, but I don't have quite enough carbohydrate with just the barley. So I'm going to get a potato. We have white potatoes and we have sweet potatoes. I'm going to choose the sweet potato has more vitamin A, more antioxidants in it, so it's going to help to decrease inflammation in my body. Do you have a, a sweet potato? Thank you. Okay, so you can see we have a nicely balanced plate here. We have at least half of the plate filled with some carbohydrate with the sweet potato and the barley. We have a little bit more than half tube filled up with uh, our vegetables. This is cauliflower and some greens. And I got about th four ounces of fish there for some nice lean protein. To balance this off and to have a little bit of sweet, I think I'm gonna add a plate of fruit, maybe a little bit of yogurt with that, and have a glass of milk or chocolate milk to get some extra calories and some extra carbohydrates to balance it off. As I mentioned earlier, uh, for hydration, adding some fruit or some fruit juice to your water is another great way to add a little bit of flavor. So this is one of the things that we do at the dining hall. We just add a little bit of fruit to our water. It gives it some really subtle, nice flavor. Another way, to, again, to get in some good hydration would be any of these 100% fruit juices. You can always just get a splash of juice and put it into your water um, or flavored waters. And then we also have milk done here as an option. I think I'm going to add some milk to my meal to balance it off a little bit more. So I'm often telling student athletes to choose foods with lots of color in them. Lots of color means lots of antioxidants. Antioxidants help you to decrease inflammation in your bodies and they help with healness, healing and soreness and inflammation. So fruit is a great way to do that. And at the Longhorn Dining Hall, we like to offer a wide variety of fruit for our student athletes, from berries to melon. Pineapple. It's also a great carbohydrate to get you ready for practice or as a recovery after practice. Lots of water, lots of electrolytes, balances your plate right off. And remember if you're traveling to make, make sure that you're prepared with healthy snacks or just prepare to he have healthy snacks throughout the day, grab some snacks on your way out of the dining hall. Today we have yogurt and banana and some peanut butter, great balanced snack to, to get you fueled throughout the day. And that finishes off your performance plate.